Sure, yeah. sure. And um, my last question is, what are the greatest financial myths we've been taught in the black community? The greatest financial myth, I think, is that the harder you work, you know, that's going to lead to success. And it's like, shout out to um, my bro, Wall Street Trap. He said something that was so profound to me. It's like, coming from working class environments, we all know people that work two jobs. Pretty common, right? Even three jobs, sometimes overnight shifts. And you really think about it, I never met one person that worked two jobs that had more money than somebody that worked one job. Mm. I never met one person that worked two jobs that had money. They still broke. Mm -hmm. And it's like, the reason is because you're trading your time for money, and that's not really how to get money. Mm -hmm. You got to have your money work for you. Mm -hmm. Like, And that's really the greatest, greatest myth, I, I think, that we've been taught is like, Money doesn't grow on trees. You got to work hard. You got, But That's it. it's really crazy because it's like, nah, not really. Your money has to work hard for you because the harder you work for money, you're just going to be burn yourself out and you're going to be, you're still going to be broke at the end of the day. So like I look at, I had a friend of mine, I'll never forget. And he was like, um, this was like 10 years ago and he's older than me, but he was like probably 30 at the time. And he was like, you know, I wish I would have been a firefighter and no disrespect. I love firefighters or, you know, we come from blue class working environments. But the point is, I'm like, why are you going to be a firefighter? Like, it's a dangerous job. He's like, you know, just do a quick 30 years. You get your pension and you retire. And I'm thinking to myself, like, quick 30. That's your life. Like, you know what I'm saying? But that's how we taught. Like, just work a job just to get a pension. Mm -hmm. But it's like, it's so crazy because it's like, if you put if if you put $6,000 into a raw fire rate for your child at 14 years old, right? And let's say it grows 12%. By the time they're 60 at retirement, there'll be $1.1 million in it. So you could literally make your child a millionaire with $6,000. And now people is literally trading their whole life to get a pension, to retire. You could set your child up for six thousand dollars when they're fourteen, have one point one million. Like, don't even worry about your retirement. It's already there. Focus on what you want to do in life. How many of us gave up our whole dreams, mm -hmm. our whole life, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to have a pension, to have some security, and we still don't have security. Mm -hmm. So for me, yeah. that that that's the greatest myth. I think mine's the same uh, along those lines. It was like every. Every, especially from a West Indian standpoint, I, I, my parents are Jamaican. It was like, save your money, save your money, save your money. Put it in the bank, save your money. Until you grow and realize, like, the people that you're telling us to save the money with aren't doing that at all. They invest in your money. They invest in your money, mm. right? So the, if you ever try to go to the bank and say, hey, I need $20,000, they are going to tell you, hey, we need, uh, we, you got to give us a two-day <laughs> warning. We need to know that you're coming to get that type of capital. And it was like, wait, if I have 20000 in my account, why can't I get it out? It's because they're using the money to invest, right? They're making interest on it, and you're making nothing on it. And so when you start thinking about that, it's like, that can't be the route. So it's along those same lines. Invest your money. And Fernando said that to us, too. He's probably the first person I had heard say it. I treat every dollar like a worker. If I had to work for you, now you have to go work for me. And so mm. he's like, look, I don't want to be cash rich. I have to have every dollar working. We need to make money every day. And so when you start getting that mindset, like I said earlier, it changes the game for you. Yep. What up, you guys? Welcome to Daydream, where daydream, they drip, and when they drip, they create. It's all a process, you guys, but welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Wolf Sage, Daydream Wolf Sage, you know, favorite artist, favorite, you know, just all around creative, just trying to figure out my place in this world. But now we're talking, we're talking about some facts. So shout out to Earn Your Leisure, shout out to The Breakfast Club for doing this, um, for doing this interview, shout out to Charlemagne for asking this because this is a very, very important topic. What are some of the misconceptions in the black community? And that's a that's a good question because I think you know, they um they really did they really did um, get this answer right on um, real good because when it comes to when it comes to the misconceptions in the black community, there's so many different misconceptions when it comes to the stereotypes, when it comes to you know. The way we act, the way we dream, the way we, you know, just do everything in our life. There's a real anti-blackness that goes on even in our community and definitely we know outside. So a lot of the misconceptions and what they were saying a lot is with the biggest thing that our community is having trouble with. And that's economics, that's wealth, that's building wealth, that's like growing and um, growing and owning our own stuff. Like they said it in there. A lot of people will go find a job, find a nine to five job, get a, get a pension and all that stuff. They'll get all that stuff and spend 30 years, 30 years of your, 30 years of their life doing this. And that's crazy. I know a lot of people like to say like, hey, well, a lot of people don't want to own their own business. They don't want to work. They don't want to do this and that. Well, that's, that's okay. That's true. Everyone isn't supposed to be a boss. Everyone doesn't want to be a boss. There's a lot of people that want to help, but this is all about supporting yourself. 
because you work and you giving your time and your money and your effort because you, you're talking about I, I say you giving your time and money because first of all your time is you just being there money isn't just what they're paying you it's what you're also earning them because you you as a um, you as a person you could um they could hire you and you could be making what fifty thousand a year hundred thousand a year but you could be um, worth more than that. You could be making the company millions a year. Millions. Even for my job. My job, I I only get paid $10 an hour, but I know that I'm making these motherfuckers so much money. That's why I, as a just a person, as an individual, and as just a creator, and just someone that doesn't want to work into their 40s, 50s, I work into my 40s, 50s, but I don't, I want after my 50s, I want it to be a choice. I want it to be like, hey, do I want to do this? Do I want to do that? Do I want to focus on this? Because if you're stuck in an um in a cubicle, like they say, you're you're gonna you're gonna stick to this. And that's a mindset that we all have. But that's just because we all these secrets and stuff, that's why I love Earn Your Leisure. I love Earn Your Leisure. I love uh Dorian from Group 82. If you're a musician, I definitely Definitely suggest you go over there. And even if you're just an entrepreneur, definitely just try it out because that, that dude be spitting. And he's actually giving out the sauce. He's giving out the secrets. Like a lot of these niggas be capping. A lot of these niggas be capping when it comes to, you know, they'll tell you like, oh, I want to be a boss. I want to do this. I want to do that. But they aren't really doing it. But that's not, that's our fault. And it's not our fault because they didn't teach us, but we also need to learn. We also need to, you know, figure out what it is we need to do to be able to build wealth. So we don't have to be a, a, a Elon Musk. Not everyone has to be a fucking um, Mark Zuckerberg and all these other um, um, crazy like <laughs> geniuses and everything. Like not everyone has to do that, but you should be able to set yourself up for the future. Like they said it, they said it in this video, you put $5,000, $6,000 into your uh, ROI, to your kids ROI right now, as they're what, 14 to 16 and everything, if it has a 12% uh, 12 rating, it's gonna, it's gonna go up. By the time they're 30, 40, 50, 60, by the time they retire, they can have one, one point something million. Yeah, yeah, watch the clip. Go and watch the whole video. They throw a whole bunch of gems in here. But that's, that's one of the things that I kind of like had to grasp myself too. Like I had to get into investing. And that's why, and I don't know a lot about this stuff. I'm still learning how to invest. I'm still learning about wholesaling. I'm still learning about, you know, just creating a brand and doing all these things. That's why I um, look to places like Earn Your Leisure and Dorian Group 82 and all these other different um, avenues because it's all about teaching. It's all about getting the knowledge out there. You know, and I'm working right now, like like all these other dudes, I'm working on classes and everything. I'm working on an actual book, an actual breakdown of the black agenda. And I want to be able to break that down in so many videos and be able to give you guys a step, step by step on what I feel us as the community need from, you know, what we need to get our mind straight, to get our body straight and to get our spirit straight. Mind, body and spirit. Those are the big things. And if we don't have, especially when it deals with our mind, this this goes exactly with the mind segment of my, um, you know, of my uh, of my book. Because if we don't have any knowledge, the only reason that they'll, that you'll hear ignorant people say like, "Oh, you don't want to do this, you don't want to do that," that person don't want to do this. When you grow up in a in a circumstance where this is all you have, this is what you have to deal with, there's only so much that you can do. And as black people, we have been subjugated to do that. We've been subjugated to, you know, feel safe in our little communities. And as long as I can go to the street corner and get this, and as long as I can go up the street store to get that, and I don't need to do anything else in my life, of course you're gonna, of course you're gonna be stuck in one place. Of course you're not gonna go anywhere because that's how this world works. So that's one of the big misconceptions. Like we need to start utilizing our resources. And even if you don't have the capital to build it up yourself, there's so many people, so many friends, so many family members who have gotten together. Some of the richest families have gotten together, pulled their resources together and just tried something. They did something, whether that's owning a building, owning a business, owning, owning some type of brand or something. There's always something you can be able to do. The cats over here got a little kitten doing stuff like that's just that's just that's just my feeling about it i really think you know rashad and them they got it right you need to be able to um 
execute, you need to be able to have a plan, and you need to be able to stick to that plan, okay? As a, um, as a as black people, and especially as young black people right now, we are going to be the next presidents. We're going to be the next leaders, the next board members, the next people that are going to take the world into the next century. So we need to be the ones that are going to be able to, for our community, really, be able to show a structure of how, even if you don't want to be the most famous and wealthiest person, that you can at least set yourself up for comfortability, for greatness, for joy, for emergencies. A lot of y'all are going through a lot of emergencies now because of the pandemic and because of you know jobs and COVID and all this stuff. You guys are going through a lot of stuff. Even me, I'm going through a whole bunch of stuff that I don't even want to get into about the, in this video. But I have to keep going. We have to keep going. We have to keep planning. We have to keep executing. And hey, we'll be able to make it. But yeah, thank you guys for listening. If you got to the end of the video, please click like, subscribe, click that bell. It's real easy. It's free. Please just stick with me, you guys. Stick with me. I wanna. I wanna take my time with putting this art out because I don't want to just throw it out there. I just don't. I don't even for this book. Like I know. I know. I talked on this channel about the twins and. That, that book, but that book I realized is it's something bigger. It's something bigger and I have to actually have a executed plan and actually have the funds to do it. I don't wanna just throw it out there and then someone else takes it or someone else bullshits it and everything. I at least wanna be able to get my input and then be able to get the people that really want to see this, um, you know, come to fruition. I want, I want it to happen right, you know? So please like, subscribe, follow, Please um, check out www.daydream.com. You know, we have a whole bunch of, you know, merch, art pieces. You know, tell me if I should sell some of those um, art pieces that you see on the page. And uh, thank you guys for subscribing. You know, it's, Day, it's Wolf Sage, Daydream. Where Daydream, they drip. And when they drip, they create. It's all a process, you guys. Thank you, guys. Peace out.